so I'm going to give you a quick demo of how our dovetail fixtures work. So um, here's an example of your blank workpiece. The first thing you're going to do is mill on this dovetail. So it's a 60 degree angle dovetail. We've got the cutters that you need. And once you mill that on there and create this little slot in here for the locating screw, you're just gonna drop it right onto your fixture. So let me get my hands in here. So you tighten both spring-loaded clamps and that's it. I mean, everything is out of your way. So the goal is to simplify your applications. We want you to be able to potentially do your entire part in three operations. So that would be one, to mill on the dovetail, two, to throw it on here, tighten it, machine all the sides that you can in one operation, and then flip it over and remove that dovetail. So we've got all different sizes. Um, let's say that you need a longer fixture. You can actually just get one of our larger sizes and pop it right on there, lock it down, get straight to your long parts. Let's say you need a soft jaw or something to uh, throw your part in to remove that uh, dovetail in the end. You just lock this onto your fixture, carve out the shape of your part, drop it in and mill off that dovetail. So, this one's pretty cool. You got a multi-fixture. So again, you can use this one for your large parts. Then when it comes to uh, some smaller parts, you just load it up with four, let it run. We have so much stuff, it's crazy. It's um, Sometimes people come to us asking if we've got, if we can do specials, but more than likely, they just show us their part and we've got a solution. I mean, they've thought of so many different um, possibilities. This one in particular goes in a five seat collet. And this is our tiniest little fixture over here. You can see how tiny that is. That is ridiculously tiny. Yeah, it's like, it's, I wouldn't want to have to make parts this tiny because I'd probably be dropping them all the time, but <laughs> somebody has to make them, so we have them if available. And then over here, <laughs> we've got our self-centering vise. So these empty slots, they're actually so that you can put um, the insert jaws of your choice. So you would just bolt them down on both sides and we've got serrated dovetails, we've got, um, I'm sorry, serrated jaws, we've got dovetail jaws, we've got straight edge jaws. Um, you can actually remove these master jaws and put two soft jaws on there. So between our dovetail fixtures and our self-centering vise and um, our pinch blocks, we got a bunch of different stuff that hopefully could accommodate uh, your parts for four and five axis. Um, you can throw them in your EDMs, uh, on your horizontals. People use them on their CMMs too, if you're really standardizing. Yeah, it's kind of the rundown. Awesome.